Joaquin Phoenix, retired actor, you know. He triggered all kinds of chatter after his appearance on The Late Show with David Letterman. Look at this. Um, what, uh, what can you tell us about your days with the Unabomber? It's just a little joke. <laughs> um, now, I heard that, uh, that you were leaving uh, acting, and I said to myself, that's too bad, because uh, you're great, uh, and, you know, not just me, the two-time Academy Award nominations. W walk the Line, you were tremendous in Walk the Line. So here, here's my hope that after some time off, uh, and I think you're taking a little time off tonight, uh, <laughs> I, I'm hopeful that you will reconsider and, and come back to acting because you're just, you know, nobody really better than you are. Oh, I Thank you. Never say never, right? I don't, I don't know. Well, you didn't see the best of the clips there, but you, anyway, he, he, he's getting into music, he says. Letterman tried to get more details of this music thing, look. When I saw you in, in uh, Walk the Line, I said, this guy is tremendous. He's, he's singing, and it sounded great. So is that the kind of music you're interested in? No, no, I, I do um, more hip-hop music. Hip-hop music. Um, is this a joke? <laughs> what, do you, what do you have them on? I'm sorry? I'm sorry, what, what are you, you saying? What do you gas them up with? <laughs> just nitrous kicking it on in the the, the kid in the front is drunk on warm Pepsi. It, I'm telling you, you've got to go watch this whole thing. So, some think it could be part of some sort of act to promote a documentary that his brother-in-law, Casey Affleck, the brother Ben Affleck, is doing. He's in the background in this photo there. Uh, he's, he's filming Phoenix's transition from actor to rapper, but I mean, a lot of people are worried that he might be. You know, he might have, uh, you know, I mean, there are certain telltales of, you know, I'm not going to say it here. With me now is the entertainment reporter, Sheer Lazar. She's from SheerLazar.com. Uh, wow. What happened? What, what is what, what, wow. what was Awkward, that? Awkward, right? I'll say. Well, what it was, we weren't sure. I mean, he was on something, to say the least, barely answering David Letterman's questions. Or he was He's promoting, of course, all, his acting. upcoming... I, he was, I mean, it was a lot of awkward silence. People aren't sure if he's having a mental breakdown, if this is all an act, like an Andy Kaufman act, or he's actually pursuing an actual rapping career. I mean, personally, I don't think he should quit his day job, but it all feels very hokey in it, many well, ways. It, I mean, you know, insiders I mean, are it, saying... It, it, the, the, t the ticks are sort of of a heroin addict, I'm told, and I, but not, not, I'm not saying that's what he is, <laughs> far from it, but that's sort of what the ticks are all about. And you remember oh, yeah, I mean, he was chewing gum, he put it under his table, he's not remembering anything. He didn't even remember his co-star, Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, she'd be hard to forget, actually. You know, and, and then, you know, a couple yeah. years ago, on the red carpet, he, he, asked a, he asked a reporter if he had frogs in his hair. I mean, and they played it off, oh, he's being wacky. Well, you know, it's wacky, all right. Yeah, well, Joaquin Phoenix has a tendency to be wacky. He also has a tendency to really take on... His characters, and he did that with Walk the Line with Johnny yep. Cash. I mean, God, he dealt with man. alcoholism after that. So who knows if this is just another character? I, I guess it could be, but he says he doesn't act. In it. It's hard to imagine that a guy like Casey Affleck would be there filming the downfall of a friend. It just yes. it doesn't. I mean, his reputation is not and, that way. Well, he was nominated last year for an uh, for an Oscar, Casey. He's also happens to be Joaquin's brother-in-law let me mention that chef and this could be just you know a fun game that they're playing supposedly according to many people making fun of actors and how seriously they take themselves in the media so i guess we'll have to see if that will be at sundance film festival ne next year that documentary you, you've or seen the whole thing right i mean what does it feel like to you it felt not real. I mean, I've seen interviews previously. There's also some rapping videos that have ended up on YouTube. He was also seen in Culver City rapping recently in Los Angeles. And it all seems like it's part of a big punked episode. Ashton Kutcher, though, might not be involved in this one. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I tell you what, everybody ought to go watch this thing on the YouTube. 
Yes, it, go on YouTube, watch it, and make your own judgment. Yeah. But it doesn't. It really doesn't seem real. He's won. He's been nominated for Oscars, but I'm not sure if this performance might bring him the next nomination. <laughs> yeah, I just hope he's okay. You know, you don't want to see anybody falling apart. Yeah, that's all you hope. Yeah. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. Obviously.